Hey, Builder Vlog. Uh, today is a special day. We are setting up the seventh Bot Bash shop. I know what you're thinking. They couldn't possibly have seven shops, but uh, we started in my parents' basement out in uh, Dillon Beach. We then moved to my parents' attic in Santa Rosa. We then moved out to Chico for the first garage shop, then uh, Pittsburgh for the second garage shop. Then we moved to uh, Lafayette, where we set up our first makerspace, and then Moraga, where we set up our next makerspace. But now we are moving back to a garage shop, but there's a big difference this time. It's the first time we own the property. So Dan, Diana, Andy, a whole bunch of Scorpio Steam members are coming out this weekend and we are rebuilding this garage and uh, sheds to fit all of Scorpios, all the battle bots, and all the tools in these three buildings. So let's get to it. There wasn't a panel in the garage. It was hardly a panel. <laughs> uh, this is a little more real. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to be putting in a new roof. We're going to be putting in some stuff to help handle heat. And uh, we, we got a whole bunch of electrical added for all the power tools. Uh, Dan is currently cutting a hole in my wall. I hope that's the right spot. We just finished cutting another hole in the wall up there. And we did a quick test on the wiring we ran for the hexagon. Uh, we're gonna be putting 22 of those hexes up to actually light this place. So Dan's getting ready to put the other vent hole for the AC system. And uh, yeah, we're moving right along. We're supposed to see outside light through that, right? Right? <laughs> So once the sun set, we went ahead and brushed out all the chips, all the tables, and the paint cans, and we started putting an enamel down on the floor. The idea behind this is to give a little more traction when you're walking around, you'll be less likely to slip, and it'll be easier to clean up. Great addition to any shop. So we're at the Home Depot right now, and we just loaded up $1,200 of lumber in the robot van. Yeah, that's a lot. Big thanks to Dan and Andy for coming out. Thank you, Andy. Thank you. <laughs> Let's get this back to the shop. The sky is about to open up on us, so we need to get out of get out of here ASAP. Smells like wood. <laughs> so what are we doing, Andy? Screwing. Okay, back to a PG thirteen rating. What are we doing, Dan? Make a wood joke. <laughs> this is why you don't see Andy on the blog very much, ladies and gentlemen. Look, I could make a joke, but instead I'd rather just be more uh, bored. Uh-oh. Ah. <laughs> we're putting up boards. We're, we're filling in the wall so we don't have that. We have this, which will be much easier to screw things to. If it's really like a big deal. So less of this and more of that. Like I mentioned four And then we're going to make a roof. Yeah. So we're installing a couple more uh, rafters so we can get the entire roof attached. And you can see now, instead of all the exposed studs, we have this nice plywood wall and we're filling in all those exposed studs over there. Got them filled in here. Next, we're gonna do the roof. 
And Dan's doing one more rafter here. Is it almost ready, Dan? Almost. Almost. I just kind of made this about the same size as the other one. Let's see how it fits. Okay. All right. Well, let's pull it out a little bit. Pull out a little bit. So Dan used an ingenious carpentry trick in order for us to get the roof up with a three-man team. Two of us would get up on ladders and lift the roof piece into place, and the third person would bring in a dead man brace that would brace against the floor and hold the roof panel in its location so we could start drilling and driving wood screws. A great technique picked up from an old school carpentry video, and it worked like a charm. I said, let there be light. Yee! We're about to hang 22 of these things. Oh, that's gonna be so good. These are LEDs that'll never burn out. And a weird hidden little secret, we used to have hexagons and hidden all over Scorpios, and now the shop will have hexagon lights. All right, I'm gonna turn this off so Dan can stop straining. Well, Dan, you've finished the roof. And now we have started primer. Primer, 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 primer. <laughs> oh, nice. I know it's not quite Scorpio's blue, but I didn't want pure neon Scorpio's blue because it was kind of that like, it's a boy blue. Right? But I like this blue. There we go. All right. The very first bit of paint in the walls. So we're here with one of our sponsors. This is Alan from Taskbot. Hello. Now, normally you're the master of the code, but today you are the master of the shelf. <laughs> and that's what Dan's shoe looks like. After a lot of painting. <laughs> For those of you who need feet photos, there's Dan's foot. Okay, I'm going to bump you in the head. And the There's a great big bump. Ba da ba ba ba. So Zach and I have been doing synchronized rolling classes. <laughs> and it's <come> along wonderfully. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the project manager of this build. So as the manager, everyone will do it as I say. Do fancy feet. <laughs> and I do want to take a minute to say a super big thanks to Dan. Um, I have not been feeling great, and Dan has really spearheaded and pushed this forward. From getting the cooling system upstairs installed, to inventing a way to put up a ceiling, to just everything. Thank you, Dan. So today, we're going to install 22 of those hex lights here on the roof. We're going to completely light this space. It's going to be lit. And then we're going to put the new garage door opener in. It's got a battery backup, so if there is a power outage here in Oakland, the lights on the garage door opener will kick on, and uh, we'll be able to get to the exit door. All right, we're at the next stage as we are getting ready to install a brand new garage door opener. Are you excited, Dan? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Dan is about to do our first test on grid one. Let's go ahead and see it, Dan. I have the power! Woo! Now I know that's not very impressive because it's on the floor, but it is awesome to see them all light up. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, since we have covered the entire shop in hexagon lights, what we are gonna to try to do to lift this up is we have our ladders in staged, we're going to lift the wood, those two planks, 
We're gonna lift those and set those on top of the ladders. Then we're gonna spread the ladders out, apply them up, and screw the two central hexagons up in place. And then that should be enough to hold it against the ceiling. And we'll move around and screw the rest of the hexagons. So wish Dan and I luck. <laughs> we might be about to destroy an $800 lighting fixture or uh, it's gonna work. We'll see. All right, and now, now this Let's is it. It's only half our grid currently, but I'm very excited to see what half of our grid looks like. And Moses said to the people, let there be light. That wasn't Moses. I know, but I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh. This is great. This. Oh, it's going to be such a nice workspace. So I, I've watched all these shop improvement videos to get ideas, and I never understood why everyone was always like, oh, the lights. Can, let me tell you about my lights and how I fix the lights. But now I'm doing my own shop video, and I'm obsessing about the lights. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is cool. This is cool. All right, let's finish putting all the screws in. All right. <laughs> this is it. This is fully lit. <laughs> oh my God, it looks so good. The, uh, the blue on white really kind of gives this an outdoor feel. With the blue sky and the, the, uh, the white clouds, well, our white hex rings. And, uh, Oh God, I am so excited. Thank you, Dan. I, I hope your arms are okay after all that. Uh, mostly. But as you can see, <laughs> and I are both sweaty. This gravity was not our friend on this little thing. And we do need to run to Home Depot to get a uh, white extension cord to replace this brown cord. And we're gonna staple those up against the wall. But man, You're definitely going to get good lighting on our videos from now on. <laughs> I can't wait to start building stuff in here. Well, Builder Blog, it has been a crazy, crazy week here on the Builder Blog. We're only going a little insane. Only a little, but we have now brought in all the toolboxes over and we have completely nuked our last shop. That's a disaster. Oh, you get to clean that. Good luck. Why do I have to clean it? You know I'll be helping. You it's, know I'm uh, lazy. Oh, uh, we're both lazy. But this place looks pretty. Just like you. Aww. And I, uh, I'm gonna have the mill set up. We're going to have all the power tools over on this side. And uh, everything's nice, pretty with the hex lights and all the blue. Look how nice our lighting is compared to how it was at the old shop. Yo. Yeah. Hex lights. And that just looks slick. Yeah. So. Water. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Alan. Thank you, Lug. Thank you, everybody. For, thank you. For coming out and getting this done. I cannot believe this went from that to uh, this amazing space in just a few days. You're welcome. <laughs> What can I say except you're, you're welcome. welcome? Copyright strike. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> well, Builder Blog, we will see you next week and let's see if we can't build a giant nut winning robot in our new shop. My shoulder. Yeah, I know. Everything's sore. Everything hurts. <laughs> That's right, ladies. He does all that carpentry work and he cooks. <laughs> the most eligible man at BattleBots. Now that Will Bales has been married off, it's now Dan Chatterton. Dan. <laughs>